welcome again to the MHA Runner. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the toe socks from the Toe Spacers, um, a newly launched pair of socks that they are available locally from the Barefoot Check. Like usual, I would like to make the disclaimer, I did not buy these pair of socks. Actually, they were given to me for free by the Barefoot Check Malta so that I can try them out. However, everything I say in this video is as objective as possible and the Barefoot Check will not influence what I say about the product that they sell. Before I start, what are toe socks? Putting it simply, it's like wearing gloves, but instead of wearing them on your hands, you wear them on your feet. It's the same procedure, each toe has a different insert and all of the fingers go in into all of these cotton or whatever material the socks are made of. And why do I wear toe socks? So I do not wear toe socks all the time. I usually I wear toe socks when actually I am using either barefoot shoes or else I am using a shoe which has a wide toe box such as Ultra or the Top Athletic. And the reason being is that when I'm wearing those shoes, my fingers have much more space to splay and therefore I wear toe socks because actually they push as well a bit my fingers wider and my big toe has much more freedom of movement. When I wear traditional shoes, I usually wear um, traditional socks like these one from Inside Cleanse in this case. And, uh, and honestly, the reason is that if I wear toe socks in traditional so shoes, the toe tend to push to the side wall of the shoes and then in the long run it irritates my, my, my toe. The other reason why I wear um, toe socks are for blister prevention. So main one of the advantages of toe socks is blister prevention. Since your fingers are separate, they are not rubbing with each other, you have a less chance of having blisters on your, on your toes. And it also helps, like I said, for your toes to splay naturally rather than being held together like in traditional socks. Of course, if you're wearing very tight shoes, that movement is still limited. However, if you have uh, enough space in the toe box, your fingers can splay around freely. They reduce moisture, especially between the fingers, because there is material separating the fingers, which absorbs moisture and then eventually it evaporates. Here on the table with me, I have six different pairs. Yes, six different pairs of um, toe socks for different brands. I have the one of the most famous, I think, um, brand around. It's Inini. They have been around, I think, for a couple of years now. And they have different types of socks for all different scenarios. In fact, I have two pairs here. I have the ultra ones, which are thicker, made for ultra militants. And I have the normal weight, um, not the lightweight, the normal weight sock as well from Inini. Then I have, I think, a, a Chinese version of Inini. It's actually called Aonji or Aonji. So even it sounds very similar to Inini. And uh, these I got them directly from AliExpress from their store. I have two different pairs here on the table. I have much more. These are the kind of tray running socks. Then I have a daily pair from Netido. Um, it's a, I think it's, it's a German brand, which are then they are manufactured in Japan. Um, these are daily. They have a performance sock as well, but I do not have that those pairs, so I bought these for daily use. However, it's good to compare them as well. And I have a general no-name brand from AliExpress. I got these because they were the cheaper and they wanted something for daily use before um, I got the Netido. But I will talk about this um, later on, about quality and stuff like that. And then finally, I have the toe socks from the toe spacers. First start with comfort. To be honest, all socks are comfortable. However, um, I use them for different um, scenarios. So if I take away the Nitido and the no-name Chinese brand, um, these are used for daily purposes. The rest are used for different runs, trail runs, long runs. Usually I do not buy very thin socks. I like the normal weight or slightly thicker socks because I have low volume feet and therefore they tend to slide forward in any of the shoes I wear, especially when I'm running downhill. So if I have a little bit more volume, I actually enjoy it and that's why I tend to go for the thicker version of the socks, 
even traditional socks, not just toe socks. With regards to comfort, all socks are comfortable. The I own G1 or I own you one, they are very, very, um, they are enjoyable on the skin. They are like very kind of silky smooth. However, they are the slippiest of all. They slip around a lot and actually I tend to wear them when I'm doing easy runs on flat grounds. Both pairs, they have the same kind of um, problem. The best ones um, for me are the ones from the toe spacers, the toe socks from the toe spacers. They are not that, not that thick, they are normal weight. However, um, the material is slightly harsher, so they are less slip slippery when I'm running. The same goes from the Inini socks. The ultra ones are the thickest of them all here. And uh, I use these one for trail running, especially when I'm running very steep downhill so that my feet can be held in place in the shoes, adding a little bit more volume. So however, if I have to rate them with comfort um, for running, I would actually choose the Inini ones and the toe socks from the toe spacers. They are very similar and that brings us to the second item about these toe socks, the variety. So. The toe socks from the toe spacers, they don't have so much variety. They have two colors and they come in this invisible option. Which I sit very, very low, kind of exactly above the color of the shoes. The Chinese version, there are plenty, however, to get the size right and you end this actually kind of a hit and miss. You kind of blindfoldedly get a couple of pairs and it's either good or not. Nitido, they have multiple versions for even different sports, yoga, daily. I have various models from this Nitido. I have like, I think three different pairs. I have the, even the invisible ones, which are very low cut. There are these, which are the daily versions. And uh, then they have the long ones for boots. They have merino ones. They have the sports one, which you can actually even grip at the bottom. I have the daily ones. And so far I cannot complain. And uh, I have slightly longer ones for winter, so maybe when I wear boots, when winter actually comes in Malta. Ionji as well, they have similar versions like in Yinyi, so they have the short ones, middle cut, longer ones, even compression ones. In Yinyi is the same, they have different thickness, they have the ultra light ones, which I owned once, but they got torn pretty quickly. They have the ultra ones which are thicker they have even the longer versions i have the one which is almost knee length unfortunately the toe socks from the toe spacers up to now they have only one model putting them on so the biggest hassle with actually toe socks is putting them on they are all they are more difficult to put on than conventional socks which you just put them on at one go these you have to actually put finger by finger and i think the most difficult of them all is the netido um, reason being is that the toe, the, the kind of the toes are on the narrow side as I find difficulty putting the third, fourth and fifth one, especially since my um, little toe is a little bit um, not straight, so it makes it a little bit more difficult. Um, the easier ones are mainly the rest because they have a little bit more give to them and your finger, your toe actually can go in um, pretty quickly. So putting them on, you will see in the videos, they are very similar and they are all very comfortable from that uh, perspective. The next item is whether they are compatible with toe spacers. I have two different toe spacers here. I have the one from toe spacers themselves and I have one from correct toes. All of them are um, comfortable. They, you can wear them over the socks except from the Chinese no-name version. And the reason being is not about the thickness only, it's about the depth um, of the material between fingers. If the depth is not, is not enough, of course, the toe spacers can actually come off. The rest have much more depth um, between fingers, so the toe spacers can go um, in pretty, um, very deeply, so they don't come in, they don't come out again. I wear the toe spacers both versions on all the socks except on the very thick ones because then my fingers um, spread too much and I have no difficulty putting them inside shoes, especially if I'm using barefoot shoes when the toe boxes are pretty sp spacious. Durability of these socks, so far all of them have been durable except the Chinese version one. Um, actually, I'm going to show you. There's a hole in the ball of the feet um, after a couple of times I wear them. Again, I do not run in these socks. I wear them for daily use, so 
the strain is pretty limited the rest of the socks have been holding on very well so far as well actually i've i've run a couple of runs in the toes from the toe spacers and so far there seems to be no wear and tear in particular same goes with the rest of the socks and the last thing i'm going to talk about is actually price and availability so the cheapest of them all of course are the chinese um, version with no name these they cost around 350 per pair however as you see durability is limited the second are the the short ones the short socks from ioni these were eight euro per pair availability is from china so it takes around a month to have them in malta and uh, while sizing is accurate in these compared to the other chinese version of the socks um, however it's you need to wait a couple of weeks to get them to have them available then we have the toe spacers which cost 14 euro per pair and they are the only ones available locally so if you need something urgent and price wise is competitive with the other big brands um, this is the one to go you can use amateur 10 and when checking out and you actually get them for even um, cheaper you get 10 percent discount on these um, toe socks and the most expensive one, ones are in yinji and nitado these are expensive these are like 17.90 they go up to actually 21 and even more expensive these the nitado are like 18 euro and they go even uh, more expensive and keep in mind that for the rest of these socks especially in nitado and in yin you have to pay postage as well even ionji and that will bump up the price even more so the price i'm quoting is the retail price without postage for example nitado you buy from their website to post to malta it's like 11.90 and so that you have to edit up on the actual pair even if you're buying more in the case of in yinji it depends on the uh, on the on the risk on the seller if you buy them from runningwarehouse.eu for example if you spend over 100 euro you get the postage for free but that means you have to buy 100 euro worth of socks conclusion if you want something which is of very good quality available locally and for i think i believe a good price toe socks on the toe spacers are the one to go if you want something cheaper and uh, you are willing to wait and you don't mind having slippery socks then ionji can be a second option if you want maybe the original socks from Inyinji, you have to look for them in europe then usually sometimes they are you don't find all the sizes and they're difficult to find at least for me it was difficult to find and of course you have to keep in mind the price and lastly there is nitido which have a variety for daily use again the price is not cheap i mean especially when you compare them to conventional socks um uh, you might spend 100 euro for eight pairs of socks that is it for today i hope you found this useful this video useful of course um, i appreciate if you press a thumbs up and if you subscribe to this channel and even to the channels of in this case of the barefoot check malta and please do check out the new toe socks from the toe spacers thank you very much see you in the next one